name is Matthias Pierlich. I'm a trained gastroenterologist and endocrinologist working in Berlin in Germany and I'm the ongoing General Secretary of ESPEN. During the next minutes I will briefly talk about hospital malnutrition. Malnutrition is a frequent and significant problem in hospitals affecting 20 to 50 percent of all patients admitted to hospitals depending on the setting also on the criteria used for the definition. Key criteria of malnutrition are loss of body weight, a low body mass index, loss of muscle mass and function, but also a low, a low food intake. Malnutrition affects the clinical outcome, but it has also a high economic impact. It is associated with increased morbidity, increased of um, clinical relevant infections, post-operative complications um, with prolonged stay on the ventilator, on the ICU, but also with increased number of falls in elderly subjects. And in addition to that, malnutrition is also associated with increased mortality in the long term. It is estimated from recent meta-analysis that length of hospital stay is also increased by about 40 percent. And this is only one reason for the increase on, of costs in health care. In many cases, malnutrition is caused by multiple problems, including chronic inflammation or severe inflammation, disturbed metabolism, but also anorexia due to the underlying disease. In addition to that, high age, polymorbidity, polypharmacy, but also social isolation and depression can contribute. Therefore, international societies such as ESPEN strongly recommend a general screening for malnutrition for all hospitals in order to identify patients at risk, but also to know who really will benefit from interventions. The goal which we define regarding energy and protein in um, recent guidelines is about 30 kilocalories per kilogram body weight per day and at least one gram protein per kilogram body weight per day to improve the nutritional status. In addition to that, um, avoiding unnecessary fasting by better planning of procedures and also, um, protected mealtime can contribute to preserve good nutrition status during hospital stay. In this context, it is, it is a very great step forward that the Global Leadership Initiative on Malnutrition, the so-called GLIM, has just recently published its recommendations for diagnosing malnutrition. This initiative presents more than 60 national pen societies and provide an effective, simple, and globally accepted tool which will help to fight hospital malnutrition and to improve the quality of life and the general overall outcome of our patients.